Hey Sharpies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Welcome back. What's up? What's up? All right, so I'm starting off the day a little bit annoyed, and I'm going to tell you why. So I come to Target because A, I needed a new lip gloss. I lost my chapstick for like the 80th time. And so I was just like, let me just grab a lip gloss. But then Target also does cash back. And so I need cash because I'm out of band tips. So I go to self-checkout, which usually allows you to do cash back because I've done cash back at Target, right? I go and come to find out there's no cash back but the lady's like you can go to the atm i said well what's your surcharge she's like oh i don't know anything about that so why would you refer me to the atm like they wouldn't i wouldn't need i wouldn't get, i wouldn't get charged extra if i was doing cash back so why would i want to go to the atm right right like that makes sense to y'all because it makes sense to me anyway i have two flights today i'm supposed to be going houston phoenix plane swap in phoenix and then do phoenix Sacramento it seems like an easy day but my second flight is over an hour delayed already and that plane hasn't even left yet because it's not time for that plane to leave yet and it says that plane is going to leave on time so I'm really trying to figure out why I'm an hour delayed and I'm not getting into Sacramento until like one o'clock in the morning yeah I'm flying a again but I think I got an all-male crew which is sometimes low-key fun but I am not running behind schedule I'm gonna show up like right on time but I'm annoyed because I could have skipped out going on target if I knew I was gonna get the cash back now I still don't have band tips I'm really gonna make this quick because it is 1 35 in the morning and I'm on the west coast so that's like like 3 35 in my normal like Houston time zone brain or whatever um I'm so tired but I am so hungry so I'm about to go downstairs to heat up my food I'm on the 17th floor and I gotta go all the way down to floor number two just to heat up my food this room has like a weird smell to it and honestly i feel like there's some kind of conspiracy because i keep getting rooms that are at the very end of the hallway next to the stairs and i just don't think i like that now obviously they didn't know it was me who was gonna get the room but like i just feel like i keep getting like the same kind of rooms anyway on to my day so we did our first flight got to phoenix sat on the ground in phoenix for about three hours our flight was an hour and a half delayed which is why we're getting here in sacramento so dang late so i'm gonna give you a quick room tour and then y'all need to close y'all blinds but matter of fact i need to close my blinds i'm gonna give you all a quick room tour and i'm gonna go eat and then well i'm gonna go get my food ready then i'm gonna go warm it up yeah overall though it wasn't really a bad day it was just kind of like a long day. Our last flight only had 98 people on it. And I don't think we have, I think in the next two days, we only have one full flight. But we got like three flights tomorrow. But we'll talk about that later because I need to hurry up. All right, so I stayed in the bed way too long. Um, then I was talking to my sister, right? And I missed when like trip trade dropped like when it opened and it was this three day and i'm lying it was this two day i was trying to get and i didn't get it so i had to get another two day but i picked up another trip I finally get to fly with actually because i think she'd been avoiding me but that's okay like that's okay and i only said that because she wants me to say her name that's the tea so now when she watched her she could be like she in it she laughing in my headphones right now um yes yeah, so i'm about to go to the gym i got a report like my van time is in like three hours so i'm gonna go work out Grab something quick to eat downstairs so I'm not starving all day. I think we got three flights today. I don't know where they're going, so I'll tell you about that later. But look at the view from my room. She's a gorgeous. Looks like a nice enough day. See you when I get back. All right, so it's 2.02 and I'm about to head downstairs to the van. I have to be down there at 2.10 and I'm only on the 17th floor, so I need to go like now. But three flights today, I really don't know where I'm going. Um, I know I end up in, uh, I end up in Reno tonight. But yeah, I think we go to Vegas at some point. 
Oh, I think we go Sacramento, Spokane, Spokane, Vegas, Vegas, Reno, or maybe something like that. When I look at my phone and look at my schedule, I'll let y'all know, but none of my flights are full today. So we love that. Let's go to work. I'm flying on the 700 today. I just met this cute flight attendant. Oh, we had a good conversation, a little trolley train that brings you over to like the terminal. But I was right about the order of the flights. Spokane, Vegas, Reno. None of them are full. I think our first one. Our first one has 94, second one has 71, and the last one has 58. And it is hot on this plane. I am burning up. Cardigan is about to come off. thing is yesterday I only spent like six seven dollars in the airport I can't even remember what I bought yesterday but oh I went to Dunkin Donuts and got donuts and hash browns today I bought food at the at the hotel because I was hungry and so I spent like twenty dollars on that and then I just went to Starbucks and spent another six dollars and eighty cents and I'm just like this is how it gets me but like I needed something sweet because I'm just dragging today but I got like their compliments so I don't look like a dragon, and I tried a new e.l.f. liquid blush today. What y'all think? Can you even see it? It was with a pigment tint when I put it on, but I only put on like a little dye just in case like it was doing too much. And I was also rushing because I'm always rushing because like my time management sucks. Around in Spokane, we had like an extra 30 minutes on the ground because we got here super early. And now our next flight is to Vegas, and it is an hour and 52 minutes. There's only like 70 people, thank God. I'm eat some snacks on my back. I was gonna go to Burger King and get me a Hershey pie, but I advised my, I advised the answer. Like I just, I was gonna go to Burger King and get me a Hershey pie, but I just figured like, you're just spending money just to spend it. You need to stop. A little bit of a wait, we made it to our hotel here in Reno. The room is massive. It's literally, 11 13 and my van time is at 12 p.m so i'm contemplating if i'm gonna go downstairs and get me a um a burger or something to eat now hear me out i know i'm not supposed to be buying food they told me they would bring a microwave up to my room but like it's not here yet and your girl is hungry so what do i do also i'm probably not gonna go to the gym tomorrow because my band time is so early because i'm sleeping in like i'm not waking up i have a pimple coming in do you see it hot mess so today was a very long day i feel like i started the day really tired and so that wasn't fun um and we had a uh we had some strange occurrences on the plane and what i just don't like about flying up front is that everybody just stares at you this man was literally staring through my soul it was the weirdest thing ever like to the point it was uncomfortable he had on sunglasses and he kept like peeking at me over the sunglasses and i'm just like are you are you okay do you need something like i feel like if you need something i would really prefer if you just ask me instead of staring at me and not using your words so there's that um there were three flights but on the last flight we had 45 people and my C looked over to me and he said that he would do the drinks and I could do the snacks. And when you fly A and it's like a light flight like that, one person usually will do the snacks. So it's usually the C who does the snacks. But y'all believe if I told y'all my C came from the back of the plane with the drinks and brought them over to the front just so I wouldn't have to restock my galley. And this is why we like being the only girl in the crew because they're like a little bit nicer. Like, I feel like if I was a guy, he would not have done the same thing. Because they're all guys. I, I low-key like being the only girl in the crew. Don't get me wrong. So I'm probably going to go get me a burger. Because my B was talking about this burger. But I just want to go get the food and come back. Because I'm tired. I want to get in the bed. I want to take a shower. I want to do all that fun stuff. But I'm trying to, like, chill out. And see if they don't bring me my microwave. Ooh. Um, tomorrow we have four flights and it's not going to be fun. It's not gonna be fun at all. Yeah. Oh, let me give you a room tour.
Good morning. So, um, I done rubbed off all my lashes. Um, I woke up and could see the sunrise because I've been up since like 7.30, 8 o'clock, like Pacific time. Um, it was a beautiful sunrise. Didn't have my camera, so I couldn't even show you guys. Really pretty view from my window that I'll show you in a minute. But right now I am like knee deep in the Nickelodeon Quiet On Set documentary because I've been seeing it on TikTok and I need to see the whole episode to myself. So it's like 9.57 right now. I need to start getting dressed in like 30 minutes for work because my van is at 12 o'clock. Y'all, we have a long day today. We have four flights. I think we do like, I can't even make it up. I just know my last leg is Phoenix to Houston. The only saving grace is that none of my flights are full today. Um, they did bring my microwave last night, so I did get to eat. Love them for that. Didn't leave my room because why? the sleep was good. Like, the sleep was immaculate. So, I'm going to finish watching this and then get dry, show you my views. Try to show you some of the hotel because this hotel is just gorgeous. And I wish I had more time here and I wish it was warmer so I could go to, like, the pool because I'll show you the pools, like, in the daylight. Pools are lit, but... I'm going to finish my documentary this last episode and I need to start getting dressed. And then we have the world's longest work day. But my next trip after this is not long. I don't have long overnights, but I think it's like two flights a day. It's time to head out. It is 11.42. I'm trying to go downstairs and see if I can find a smoothie before my van time. Um, let's see. I go to Vegas, San Diego, Phoenix, Houston today. So a long day. It is a 10-hour day today. Um, but again, none of our flights are full, so I love that for me. No makeup on go home days. Let's go home. I got some stuff to plan. I got stuff to do. Actually, I'm probably just going to sleep and do my hair. Real quick, so we have an unscheduled plane swap. Now we have to swap not once, but twice. Our next flight is 30 minutes delayed. We got to walk from the B gates to the C gates. And when we got to this gate, the jet bridge broke down. And so we had to wait 20 minutes for the jet bridge to come. So now we're going to walk to the C gates, be 30 minutes delayed. Then we got to swap again in San Diego. And that plane is an hour and 25 delayed. I'm upset. San Diego, we got an hour and a half on the ground. Then we have to work to Phoenix and then work to Houston. So I'm about to unpack all my stuff again and take it off another plane. Guys, it is 1.50 in the morning and I'm just getting to my car. I'm about to drive home. So I think I would left off and we were in San Diego or whatever. So we get on the plane, we get boarded up, we go to leave, push back from the gate, whatever. Captain tells us, oh, we gotta wait 45 minutes to hold because Phoenix air traffic control or like Phoenix was on a ground delay or Phoenix was on a ground hold. Phoenix was on something, right? And so we literally taxied to like the holding area and we sat on that plane for an hour. It was only supposed to be a 49 minute flight. So we sat for an hour, then we had to do the 49 minutes and then we got to Phoenix finally, kicked those people off. It was like 114 people, got a new set of passengers. It was only like 65 people. And we did a one hour, 55 minute flight to Houston. My feet hurt. I only have one day off before I start another three day trip. I've been trying to trade my trip in open time and it just has not been working out for me, which is really frustrating because I need to move this trip like desperately. So hopefully something like works out. I'm tired. I think I gotta use the bathroom, but I'm gonna wait till I get home because I'm not about to go back in the airport or stop. Um, Thanks for following along with all my shenanigans. I cannot believe my 10 hour day turned into almost a 12 hour day. Literally, my duty day was like 11.40. We got some overfly, but then it didn't even add into the totals, whatever, I don't even care. I'm ready to go home, go to bed, 20 minute drive. I'll see you on the next trip. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.